UCLA did not come here to just give it a good try. Their best defender back home, their top big man watching in a sweatsuit, the Bruins did not back down Saturday night at T-Mobile Arena while severely undermanned in the Pac-12 Tournament Championship. They just finally ran out of counterpunches. A wild game came down to a mad scramble of a finish. Arizona's Azuola's Tublis pushed his team into a two-point lead by making the first of two free throws with five. Eight seconds left before missing the second. UCLA's Jamie Yaquez Jr. grabbed the rebound and dribbled frantically downcourt before passing to freshman guard Dylan Andrews on the wing. Andrews rose for a three-pointer and a chance at the shot of a lifetime. The ball caromed off the side of the rim, preserving the second-seeded Wildcats' 61-59 victory over the top-seeded Bruins. Wide-open shot to win the game, UCLA coach Mick Cronin said afterward. We'll take it. It is what it is. Get some rest, get ready for the real tournament. Arizona players lingered to celebrate their second consecutive title game triumph over UCLA, 29-5, while the Bruins pondered where they might be seated in the NCAA tournament. Even shorthanded, the Bruins had every opportunity to pull this one off. Given a chance to tie the score with six. Eight seconds left, Bruins point guard Tiger Campbell, a 84. 9% free throw shooter who had been so clutch all week, missed the second of two free throws, the ball rolling around the rim before coming off. Cronin said Campbell was unnecessarily mad at himself afterward. I would put my career on the line, Cronin said, with Tiger at the line. Tublis grabbed the rebound and was immediately fouled to start the game-ending sequence. Another opportunity had been lost for UCLA after Yaquez knocked the ball away from Tublis with 1.10 left for a steal and the Bruins holding a one-point lead.